Oh, hey, I didn't see you come in. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Michael Jenvik, and I am the chef here at Moving Mountains. Thank you so much for purchasing one of our drop-off meals. We are super excited about having this as an offering for our community. I'm now gonna remove my mask because for the remainder of this video, I will not be wearing my mask for ease of communication. I would, however, like to say that all of our employees at Moving Mountains are following all CDC and FDA guidelines while preparing, cooking, and serving all of your meals that you will receive from us. We can't wait to see you in the kitchen. All right, everyone, we are ready to make some chicken. Not just any chicken, but some sous vide chicken breast that we've made into a little roulade. Stuffed it with some spinach, pine nuts, lemon, Parmesan cheese. Mmm, beautiful. We're gonna get to that in just a second though, because first we're gonna start with our roasted cauliflower. We wanna pop this in the oven because this is gonna take about 30 minutes or so to get it nice and caramelized. So we wanna get this started right away. So cauliflower is all nice and, and cut up for you already. So we're just gonna get a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, very, very simple. And this is where if you have some spices in your house that you like to use, use them, throw them in. If you like it, throw it in. If you don't, keep it out. That's what my grandmother always used to say. It's the beauty of cooking. You get to control your own destiny. If you like a lot of garlic in something, load it up. If you don't like any at all, keep it out completely. It's all up to you. Cauliflower, olive oil, salt, pepper, boom, on a roasting tray. And we're gonna throw this in our 425 degree oven. Check it every 10, 15 minutes, see if it needs a little shake, but we want a really nice caramelization around the thing, around the cauliflower, so try not to move it too much on the plate. So we're gonna pop that baby in and whiff the magic of television. We have perfectly roasted cauliflower right here. Nice and steaming hot, ready for our dish. But once again, we're gonna pop that to the side because we need to make our chicken. So, chicken has been pounded out, skin on, pound, and then we've stuffed it with some sauteed spinach, a little bit of onion, garlic, Parmesan cheese, lemon zest, a little bit of chili flake, really nice and lovely. And then we've kind of rolled it into a roulade um, and then poached it sous vide like this uh, for about an hour at 145 degrees. So this chicken is actually all the way cooked all the way through, maybe slightly, slightly pink in the middle, but we're gonna fix that by searing it in a pan and then popping it into a warm oven to kind of finish it through. So first we wanna take it out of its bag and use a sharp knife or a pair of scissors and take it out. And this chicken is already seasoned. So this has been gotten a nice salt crust on the end. So we don't need to worry about seasoning it. But just like I said with the cauliflower, if you wanted to add a little bit of cumin, maybe a little bit of paprika, maybe a little bit more uh, black pepper on the outside of the chicken, please go for it and add it, in, uh, add it in at this step right here. So here we have a nice hot pan, not too hot, we want kind of like medium, medium high heat because we want a nice golden brown skin and kind of crisp up this skin on the outside. So I'm just gonna get a light coating of olive oil on the outside of this chicken. And I really like to coat the oil on my meat opposed to in the pan because there's gonna then be just enough in the pan without burning um, as it just kind of sits there if it's not coating the chicken itself. And there we go, we're working. We got a nice sizzle, which means we know we did it right. We got a nice hot pan first, put the chicken in right, and we're just gonna kinda watch it. Here's a really important time, because we wanna make sure it's not burning, the pan's not too hot, 
And I have already just some nice light gold caramelization right there. So we know we're doing the right thing. And we just want to kind of keep an eye on it, slowly rolling this chicken breast back and forth or through the pan, making sure it's constantly touching hot surfaces. We can kind of move it around like this and we can let it stay for a little bit here and there and do a little bit of extra stuff while we're, while we're letting it cook. So we'll keep our eye on that, but now we can move towards our lovely couscous salad. So the couscous has already been cooked for you. Really simple olive oil, salt, and hot water that we put over couscous. And we just let that couscous suck up all those flavors in the olive oil and salt and cook by the hot water. And then we release it and fluff it up with a little fork. And here we're gonna add some fresh herbs, a little bit of scallion, some chopped tomatoes that came in the bag, which we're gonna cut up now, um, and then some lemon juice and olive oil. So for the tomatoes, this is kind of up to you. I like to cut them into little pieces, so they're nice little bite-sized pieces, so the juice kind of flows throughout the couscous and kind of marinates the couscous uh, completely. But if we like to just cut it in half, because that's how we like it, or because we're a little lazy, yeah, we can go for that as well and toss it in. But I'm going to cut them in kind of some quarters, maybe some little pieces. Maybe this big one here, I'll cut into like ace. We'll get that guy going, cut into little pieces. Oop, I went into twelfths right there and get that, that all in. And we'll just kind of work through. And now we're going to go back to our chicken breast, take a look at it. We can use our hands here if we're comfortable or if not, we can use a pair of tongs and kind of pick it up and move it around. And it's still kind of getting nice and golden brown on the outside there. So we'll keep our eyes on that and we'll keep with our tomatoes. So what we're making with this couscous is kind of like a tabbouleh salad, which is an Israeli uh, or Lebanese style salad, typically done with bulgur wheat, lots of parsley, fresh herbs, mint, um, sometimes cilantro if available lemon juice and olive oil. And we're just kind of doing a play on that with where instead of the bulgur wheat, we're going to be using couscous. And we've kind of used that same um, herb blend, but we're going to be adding some of these really nice cherry tomatoes that we have available to us. So we're going to get those in. And then we'll finish the dish with those fresh herbs and go back to the chicken. And I am going to use tongs this time because I can kind of see that it's starting to stick a little bit. And see, there's a really nice golden brown. And that's what we're kind of looking for all around. So we're going to want nice and crispy golden brown all around this chicken breast. So finish with the tomatoes here. Get those in. And then finish this couscous salad. So after the tomatoes, now I want to salt the tomatoes themselves. This is going to extract some of that lovely liquid that I said is going to marinate that couscous. And we're going to kind of fold that into the couscous. And now we've got fresh parsley, mint, and scallions here. And we're going to kind of throw that in. And I really like a lot of herbs in this dish. I find the more the better. Um, sometimes even traditional tabbouleh is more of a parsley salad than it is a bulgur wheat salad. There is lots and lots of parsley in there. But I kind of want this to be more about a blend between all the flavors coming together and not so parsley focused. So I kept it a little bit lighter here. Once again, if you want a little bit more, throw a little bit more in and it'll be wonderful. We're also going to have a bit of herb uh, parsley flavor going with the cauliflower as well. So you're kind of get, going to get some herb flavor going throughout this dish. So you don't want too much in just the couscous alone. So we're going to flip this on its other side. It's perfect. And now we're going to season the couscous with its dressing. So we got fresh lemon wedges here that are already pre-cut for you. We're going to squeeze those in. And I think two should do the trick for this amount of couscous that we have here. But always don't be afraid to give a little taste as you're cooking and see how your seasoning is. Does it need a little bit more lemon? Does it need a little bit more salt? Do we need more spice? Is it not as spicy enough? And do we need to add, add another layer of flavor that maybe we were missing with our initial calculations? And that's why it's so important to just kind of taste throughout. So now I'm going to add a little bit of cracked black pepper and some fresh olive oil. And now our couscous is there. We can see that it's so beautiful and vibrant with all the different colors. 
I can't wait to kind of put this together with the cauliflower, the yogurt sauce, and the chicken. It's going to be so wonderful. All right, so we'll put that to the side, and we'll take a look at our chicken again. And our chicken looks just about there. It's kind of getting golden brown, just around the, all the outside. And we can kind of work on that a little bit further, right there while we're finishing the cauliflower, before we need to slice this up. And as we can see, steam is rising in the pan. And what that steam is doing is it's permeating through the chicken itself. It's kind of warming the inside of that chicken. So the chicken won't just be cooked on the outside, but it'll be warm through on the inside as well. So we'll leave that there and we'll finish the cauliflower. So our perfectly roasted cauliflower that we just did, simple olive oil, salt, and pepper, and now we're gonna add that other depth of flavor. And this is in our salsa verde. Salsa verde is used in so many different cuisines across the world, um, so many different variations um, using, using a variety of ingredients, but as long as it kind of comes out into this bright green color, we can kind of really go and call, call it a, a nice salsa verde. So this one is parsley focused, but also has some basil, some mint, some garlic, chili, some lemon zest, olive oil, and a little bit of lemon juice as well. And just knowing from making it, I wanna add a little bit more lemon on top to add that real nice acidic punch to the cauliflower itself. We'll kind of give that a nice toss and toss that through, and that's gonna be so nice. So we'll use our spoon here and kind of fold that through. So all the cauliflower pieces get tossed with this wonderful salsa verde. It's gonna add a really nice kind of herbaceous punch to this dish right there. Okay, so let's take a look at our chicken again. We've got golden brown on almost all the sizes. We see now a little bit of the stuffing kind of stuck to the bottom. That's not a problem at all. We're just gonna kind of put that back in there, get this guy onto a roasting tray, and then finish it in the oven. I'm gonna turn off our burner, pop this in, and then we'll finish the dish. All right, wonderful everyone. So now we have finished the chicken in the oven to get it completely cooked through in the middle. Nice crispy skin on the outside, and we are ready to plate our dish. So now I'm gonna let the chicken just kind of rest here for a second while we start the immediate plating. I have our yogurt sauce here that I made for everyone. It's a really nice, lovely strained yogurt sauce, similar to a lebna, which is a, what was called a soft cheese. And once again, in kind of Israeli cooking or Lebanese cooking. So we strain a thick Greek yogurt overnight, get all the liquid to kind of come out. And then we fold in some lemon zest, lime zest, a little bit of juice of each, some cumin, paprika, and olive oil to give this nice kind of like almost spicy fattiness to the bottom of the dish, kind of a nice creaminess to kind of bring everything together. We're taking some of the flavors that we put in the salsa verde with the cumin and the paprika and the lemon juice and the lemon zest in here, and we're just gonna kind of coat that bottom of the plate to really just kind of tie the whole dish together. So let's get the yogurt on the plate, really nice dollop. And then we'll kind of just swirl it around into a nice circle, which will give us a beautiful base to build our dish. So now we're gonna get the couscous down. Has a nice and other bottom layer to give that grain and the tomatoes and the herbs and all of the lemon to kind of mix in with that yogurt as we're eating it. And then another layer is that roasted cauliflower. It's gonna be popped on top right there. Let it fold into and fall where it may on top of the yogurt. It's gonna make it that much more delicious as we're eating. And now for the chicken. So we have this roulade. And we can kind of cut this in a myriad of ways, however, however you choose. I like to do a nice kind of long stroke on the bias. And this way, in every bite, we're gonna get a little bit of spinach, a little bit of that filling, and a little bit of chicken as, as we go along. And we'll kind of plate this really nice in the middle there. To kind of put it on top. And as always, we're gonna finish with just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to tie the whole thing together. And what better way 
to finish this dish, or to have this dish rather, than with a beautiful Chablis from France. Jean-Marc Brocard, this 2019 vintage, has lovely acidic notes that will pair perfectly well with the acidity in the chicken and make a perfect dinner together. Enjoy. <laughs>